Good morning, guys. This morning I'm planting up a flower box sitting just outside my kitchen window. This is a four foot planter, which by the way, almost took an entire one and a half cubic foot bag of soil. So um, know that if you're getting a four foot uh, window box. I went ahead and put some slow release fertilizer in because we are still having quite a bit of warm weather. I garden in Central California, I live in Central California, I garden in Zone 9, and we just came off of having some 90 degree weather just about 10 days ago. And I think it's going to be in the 70s today, but I looked at the forecast and we're going to be getting up into the upper 80s in the next few weeks, and here we are the middle of October. So that's why I went ahead and put some slow release fertilizer in. I'm going to go over the plants and let you know what we're going to put in there and um, we'll see how it turns out. This is a red fountain grass. On each side, I have a ornamental kelp, then some garden mums. This is Dichondra Emerald Falls, which actually this was the first time I had seen this at the uh, nursery. I always see um, silver, Dichondra Silver Falls. Why did that name slip my mind? I'm sorry. Snowdrift. Euphorbia and Rex begonia on the end. And then I'm going to put some pansies in. The Rex begonia pretty much like shade, and I know the space is south, but just about four feet from here, I have a Japanese maple. I know it's going to lose its leaves here pretty quick, but about 20 feet away, I have three redwoods. And with daylight savings time getting ready to end, the sun uh, doesn't sit quite as high. So this gets sun, this shade, all the way up until about 1, 1.30. And then, of course, the sun will start setting between 4.30 and 5. So I think I'll be okay. Um, let me plant it up, and uh, we'll see how it looks. all planted up. I think it turned out really nice. Um, here is the snowdrift euphorbia. That'll start to creep out. The Rex begonia. These are mammoth queen yellow pansies, I think. The dichondra emerald falls. The mums. Ornamental kale. Red fountain grass. And the same on this side. These will have to come out in the spring so they can stay in a more shady spot. And um, obviously these will begin to tucker out and I'll have to pull those out. But I've wanted a window box for so long. This is my very first one, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and uh, I think it turned out really great. I might put some um, battery operated fairy lights twisted in here. They're on a really super thin wire and I'll just tuck the the uh, battery pack behind here and it's on a timer and so this will light up uh, in the evening. Um, I think it's going to turn out good. If it comes out okay, I'll show you a picture of it. I also wanted to show you the fountain that we brought in from the backyard. We repainted it. Uh, the sun just um, bleached it out and it needed to be repainted. I think it turned out okay. I, I kind of actually like it, and so every time I'm cooking or cleaning in the kitchen, I can hear the fountain, and I really like uh, how it sounds. Actually, we have a lot of dog walkers that come by super early in the morning, and if I'm in here, you can see them turn back, and uh, they even notice the fountain. They can hear it when they're walking by. I wanted to show you the Japanese maple that's real close by to the window box that'll give it some filtered light until it loses its leaves. 
And then about another 20 feet, those are the redwoods I was talking about. And uh, I can't, I'm not good with uh, height, so I have no idea how tall they are, but I think they're uh, very tall. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Bye.